I'm pretty happy with the routing of the golf course. There was a 27-hole golf course there before, but we discarded it and routed a new 18-hole golf course. And I went and found the best golf holes possible, uh, really expanding on the landforms that were there. There's no ocean. There are no mountains. You know, it's a former farm in, in uh, Minnesota. And so there was enough, though, that you can really capitalize on the topography. And so one of the unique things there is there's a stretch from the third or from the fourth to the eighth hole, third to the eighth hole, I'm sorry, that goes three, five, three, five, three, five. And that's obviously very different, right? But the fact is those six holes on that piece of property are the best six holes available. You could be consistent and say, okay, well, let's make sure you get a part four in there. Or you can't have that configuration because it's so different. But the fact is, if you're looking for the best golf holes on a piece of property, trends are secondary, consistency is secondary. It's what's best. You know, you look at, I talked earlier today about, obviously, a diner is far from Cypress Point, but, you know, McKenzie had 15 and 16 as par threes. He could have maybe done something differently. He could have routed that golf course differently, but he decided those two holes on that section of property are the best two holes available, and I don't care about trends. So, Bramar's like that.